a very rainy Tuesday morning. I'm heading over to T-Mobile to get my um, my mug and stop and get some coffee at Dunkin' Donuts. But I just want to point out this house yard. I love going back to this house in the spring and summer because their garden is gorgeous. So I have to remember to go by and make sure I record when I go by later on. Once the f winter weather is over. But yeah, time to hit up T-Mobile. So at T-Mobile, about to go in and get my mug and drivers back it up there for a second. But we're gonna go in. Let's go get our cup and then go get my coffee. I got my coffee. I got a regular plain coffee. Amethyst is chilling. It's the only time she like really goes nuts inside a stroller is if she like yesterday had a really bad poop experience <laughs> in her diaper but I got my um, got my mug we're underneath the awning way in Dunkin Donuts but look at this hot pink thing like it is super hot pink I might have to like put a filter on so you guys can see how hot pink it is but it is super tiny. Um, the one I had was tiny like this, but it was a little bit wider. So I probably could only fit like a small coffee in here. And the one I had originally from Dunkin' Donuts had like a little slit cover. But I love these mugs because they keep your cold drinks cold and your hot drinks hot. So I'm gonna take it home, clean it. I'm just, I'm really excited. You don't understand. I've been wanting one of these and I didn't want to pay like 20 to $30 for a tiny little mug. This tiny. <laughs> and so when T-Mobile came out with it, I was like, yes, yes, give me my T-Mobile Tuesday. <laughs> so we are currently at the Rape office. And we just had our push truck up here. Little girl content. Just had a, her breastfeeding. I really need a rocking chair. Like she had a rocking chair in there and it made me so comfortable and so relaxed. And when the least painful latch I've ever done. And she gave me tips that the lactation doctors did not give me. And it was really easy. I need a rocking chair. Just all I need to say. And today is Wednesday, tomorrow she is Thursday, and she'll be three weeks, officially. She looks like a little boy right there, with unicorns on. So we are in the laundromat. It's a big laundromat. Um, baby girl is going into two hours of being asleep right now. And um, cluster feeding is over. Thank God. It was two days of cluster feeding. And yesterday I experienced my first wave of baby blues. And I probably would have thought it was depression if I hadn't saw um, um, Mama's post on Instagram about a week ago. And in about the same time frame, she went into baby blues when your body is adjusting to the baby not being here. And we just hit with all these waves of emotions. So I was crying to all the day, just about every hour and the hour. And then relief was about going outside. So, but I feel much better today. And after we wash these clothes, take them back in the house and sort through them and match them up in outfits for the next couple of days. I have a band aid because I, they took my my iron test at um, the wig office but yeah that's it for today you guys probably won't get any more videos from me today I am pretty much done unless I do like a quick video of the outfits I put together alright guys thank you for watching and um, see you guys tomorrow it's gonna be snowing Snowing, for, snowing in January. Snowing. Valentine's Day is snowing. Valentine's Day is snowing. I'm talking to my mom. 
Valentine's Day is snowing. <laughs> Valentine's Day is snowing. If Dalva takes off, I'm leaving her home. Or I'm going to drop her off with Grandma. It'll be the first test of Grandma being with the baby by herself. That way she's not out in the snow. I can take her out with some cold, but not no snow. <laughs> um, and uh, tomorrow is Thursday. Tomorrow I'm going to just chill in the house. And actually try to get some art stuff done that I've been putting aside. You ready to eat? You're making that ugly face. Grandma can rock you all you want. That it's about two hours. Two hours is normally when she she gets up two to three. We'll see. But those are plans. Alright folks. Later. So it is I really gotta get him to take that downstairs <laughs> but it is um thursday and i am going to be working on something for amethyst today for our future cosplays um starting with like at home stuff first so <laughs> unless there's something up that's coming up in the next three months where i'm gonna be going to um a con or to a photo shoot this will, I'll probably just do a photo shoot here in the house itself. But this is my um, Queen Serenity gown and the wings that go on the back of the gown. Hopefully it still fits me <laughs> um, in the boob area. I know it will fit me around the waist, but it's the boob area because I'm a little bit bigger. But this dress used to be a little bit big on me, so it should fit perfectly now. And I have the beads. That I'm going to be working on adding into her dress. Um, baby girl's dress is over here. Now this is the plan with her dress. So for each rose, each flower, I'm going to do a circle of beads around them. So there's going to be a circle of beads around each one of those. So three on this side and there's three on this side. And then across the top here, I'm going to do, I have to do the hot glue of the little sequins. Burn my fingers. <laughs> but it's going to be a lot of hand sewing today. It's cold out, it's rainy, I'm expecting a little bit of snow, so that's what I'm going to be doing today. And watching TV and YouTube videos. So, yeah, expect a photo at some point. You guys might get the photo before you get this video. <laughs> but that's what I am working on today. She is not the happiest. <laughs> but Mama's getting a little bit of a bath today. I have to do lukewarm water with her. No soap unless it's in her hair. This is better than the first time. First time we only did like five minutes. Ooh, you kicked it. <laughs> I try to keep it out of her face as much as possible. But this is how we give her her bath. All right, we're going to do your hair and then we're going to get out of the hair. Of course, now she's upset. She was cool in the water. Then she was cool out here for a little bit while I was drying her off. Now, little Miss Sheep is upset. <laughs> I'm going to get the diaper on you. I just want to make sure you dry. So I've been working on baby girls, um, Princess Serenity's gown. So I beaded all the beads on, then inside of each circle there's a rose and I'm going to hot glue um, a little gemstone inside to give it some bling to go with my bling gown that's right there, my Queen Serenity gown. And we're going to put some bling, I believe I was going to put it like right here at the top of each um, lacing, not sure yet. Or I might just sprinkle them around on the dress itself. She's currently chilling, sleeping. She makes fussy noises, but she's, she's pretty much asleep. So next thing is to hot glue the rhinestones on and I think I will just kind of like spread them around on a dress. I'm not sure. 
am undecided right now. But uh, my friend brought me this and she knows I love Sailor Moon and I've been, I can't wait to like do the little and in the house photo shoot. So we'll see. Hey, good morning, everybody. The sun is directly in my light. I mean, not in my light, in my face. <laughs> um, today is going to be like a talk in makeup. Talk in makeup. Um, I don't know if I mentioned it before, I am part of Ipsy, well, Ipster, sorry, not Ipster, I can't think this morning, Influencer, Influencer, <laughs> um, <laughs> it's a free app, free everything, you ask a million and one questions, and then eventually, if you're lucky, and if you're answering a lot of questions and being involved, they'll ask you, do you want a box box? And so far, with the box box from them, I have received um, an Urban Decay box that I had to review. And right now I'm trying to find, where did I stick it? Okay, so I had, I already gotten the Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray. I got this from um, um, BeautyCon of last year. Okay. Uh, 2019. 2019. And then, um, Ipster asked me to review um, all um, Urban Decay All Nighter Face Primer. So I have a face primer. And then they sent me another box. And I just got this box, like, lose it in the mail um, yesterday. And I got the email sent out to me to review on, um, I think, today Saturday. Um, I must have got it Thursday. And it came quickly because last time the um, all-nighter prime face primer didn't come really quick so now we have the eye primer now the last really good eye primer I had was um, oh my god I can't even think of the name now <laughs> sorry I can't I haven't had a really good eye primer in a minute except for Except for recently in my in my Ipsy bag. In my Ipsy bag, I got the Too Faced primer. Let me put this box down here. I had got the Too Faced primer. And this is this Too Faced eye primer is pretty good. I like this one. So this is all oh, looks like a little tiny bit to call it. But uh, this is the Urban Decay Eyeshadow primer in this cute little package so now I have all three and swivel top oh 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 I was not expecting this I wasn't expecting like a something to put the primer on and then apply it to your your eye that's different I'm used to like like hangover. It pumps out. You squeeze it's a squeeze little squeeze bottle. This one it has an applicator on it. Okay. All right, that's different. <laughs> okay, so Urban Eyeshadow Primer Potion Number One Prestige Eyeshadow Primer. All right, so you can get this on Sephora.com, Ulta.com, and then of course, um, let me see, Eyeshadow Primer Potion delivers vibrant, crease-free shadow that lasts all day. It creates a smooth application, vegan, cruelty-free, and carbon-free. So we're going to give this a try. This is the little bit that I was reading from. And I'm gonna do a face today. 
I know I don't do faces, but <laughs> we're gonna do a somewhat face today. Nothing, nothing too drastic. So first thing first, we're gonna start out with the Ace2 Beauty Oasis. I got this. I need to find a bigger bottle of this. This is beautiful. But anyway, going into conversation. <laughs> this morning I got up early because I, I tend to do about four o'clock and baby girl was still asleep. I was shocked because she doesn't sleep past four because she normally gets up to get her her morning feeding. Well, 4.30. She doesn't sleep past 4.30. I get up at four, I pump, and then she gets the rest. That is our routine. Um, and then, um, but she got, she slept. And um, I went downstairs and I pumped because I didn't want to wake her up. And then she came down, then I came upstairs and got her about, I want to say, 6.30 because she was slapping and starting to wake up. Brought her downstairs with me on the couch. And <laughs> she decided that um, she didn't need to get up. <laughs> Like she went right back to sleep, so I'm like, okay, well, that works. Long wearing foundation with a rip, prep smooth perfection. All right, so we're gonna put this on first, and then I'm going to put on um, True Match. Cause I don't want to put powder on today. Still touch the baby, and I don't know how she reacts to makeup just yet. So this is a pump. And I want to pump. So going back to the baby. <laughs> She's on the couch. She's content. And then certainly she's not. Why is my baby not content anymore? Because she has poop. But she does. Um, and I hadn't fed her yet. But normally when you breastfeed, your baby poops like maybe I want to say 90% of the time. Um, 10 to 15 minutes after they ate. And sometimes they don't. So, this was an unexpected poop. <laughs> and when she did it, like it went everywhere. I mean, when I went to go get it out of her diaper, it was up her back, down her leg. I was like, so you, you literally have exploded out of your diaper, little girl. You have exploded out of your diaper. I'm gonna use all types of gloves. <laughs> By the way. But you have literally exploded outside of your diaper. I was flabbergasted. <laughs> it shocked a little bit. And I was like, how bad is this? Oh, it's on the couch. Oh, great. This is why I got cloth pouches, though. This is why I got the cloth pouch that I can take this stuff off and wash it. And this is why we did it. <laughs> so I, but then of course she's like ready to eat. So now, cause she didn't poop and she's upset. So I take her upstairs and I get her on the changing table. I slowly cautiously take off everything so I don't get more on her all over her body. She is livid. <laughs> she's hungry. She is sticky. She has poo on her, and my baby is upset. <laughs> I'm gonna try this applicator now. And so, um, finally get her undressed. I wipe her down with wipes, and I'm like, "All right, we gotta, we just gotta give you a bath. I know you are hungry, but mommy's gotta give you a bath." So. I was worried that it was going to be like a color. Alright, so it, it feels... Gone. I missed this in the corner just now. I don't know how I feel about it. Like... <laughs> with the... With the um, Too Faced, you can't you can't feel 
the liquid when you put it on this one you can't feel it it's just I don't know if I like the applicator I'm not a fan of the applicator maybe because I prefer to use my finger when applying but it goes on smoothly it goes on smoothly <laughs> all right here we go I just don't like the applicator I don't like the applicator <laughs> all right so back to baby girl so um take her downstairs she's upset with me she's quiet though she doesn't cry a lot but she's she's just like looking around like all right you have me hanging a certain way that I don't want to be hung where are we going with this mom how could you do this to me how could you betray me as well I'm thinking she's thinking in her head so <laughs> we get her downstairs we're giving her I give her a bath my baby is okay in the bath she's okay once the water is on her and she knows what's going on she's like oh okay this is that bad thing all right I can deal with that and then I turn over and hold her so I can get the water down her back she can went up her back and down her leg I was like, oh my god. So, we get her back upstairs after drying her off. And now she's like, once you bring them out of that water, it's like cold. And they're in shock and she's upset and crying. And she doesn't cry loud. <laughs> she doesn't have a big girl voice yet. So I get her upstairs and I get her dressed. And she's in the cutest little pink outfit. And she's good now. But man, I I haven't, I know they say that your first spray poof is ridiculous. And I've had it happen to me twice. And both times before were um, in the stroller. So she, she was in the stroller and she had poo and it went up out of her out of her diaper on the side. And this is why I says uh, pamper diapers are the worst. But so many people brought me pamper diapers. And so I'm not gonna let them go to waste. But man, that went through what happened on the couch went through the couch. And so went through her diaper, went through her shirt, and well her onesie. And I had to go back downstairs after I put her to bed. After I fed her put her back in her um, basket and then had to go downstairs this morning and remove the cover from the cushion and wash it and then um, put it in the dryer. So that was my morning. <laughs> but everybody else's morning was a little bit better. But um, my best friend is going to come by today to pick up um, her stroller and she's going to get one of the bouncers. I'm um, give her my bouncer and I have a walker where it doesn't walk but the baby can sit there and be active in it um, and then she has all these bags of clothes to take home with her for the baby as well we'll see what she can take home and what she can't take home don't worry I'm gonna move the camera in a second so you guys can actually see like I said trying in here which is typically not the case. Well, actually it is, this is early. Normally I do my videos like before that, before <laughs> um, eight o'clock in this room anyway. So we're gonna put the all night spray, face spray on and I'm not gonna go crazy because I do not want to put mascara and all that on. <laughs> I, I was like, no, change my mind. We're gonna put some uh, Anastasia on lips. That's why I'm wearing mostly late. So um, other than that, I wanted to ask you guys, I'm going to put it on my Instagram too, 
I was thinking of doing a series. <laughs> and then, uh, I, like, I know this, this, I, know, I now know what kind of, um, of YouTube videos I kind of want to present. And at first we were going into it, learning how it works and stuff. But now I know that I like the weekly videos of like going through in a week. So I'm going to keep my week series. That's what I'm going to call it, the weekly series. Or the, um, <laughs> it's a day in the life, a week in the life, week in the life. But, um, I've done about 20 years of retail and food. And so, um, not 20, 15 years of retail and food. And I was thinking of doing a series of retail. <laughs> um, and just posting those videos up on Monday, um, or, or Sunday. It'll be, I think I'll do it Sunday because I used to tell people all the time, my worst ever, ever ever visitors or guests are people that had the service were on Sunday and I don't know why people would go to church and come out with the devil in them and they were just the worst people were Sunday people and so I wanted to do a series so I'm going to do a series called um, <laughs> uh, Sunday uh, uh, not Sunday shopping I gotta keep, come up with a name for it um, or um, Sunday customer service <laughs> stories, but trust me, I have a gazillion because, wow, life is crazy when you work retail, but, um, let's see, that can get, don't mind the mess, I still haven't gotten to it yet, but like I said, it's a lot of glow, you can see the, the little bit of powder on my face, makeup, all from the blush. And we have the blue and gold to go with all work today. I'm not going to put any earrings in. I'm still really tired. Um, I have been dealing with and um, I didn't realize the signs until um, I was thinking about it. And I was like, okay, this is baby blues. I'm not necessarily um, postpartum depression, but it's postpartum baby, baby blues. And I didn't realize that's what I was going into until I had my um, my day of like non-stop crying. Every hour, one hour I was crying about anything and everything. And um, Donald came home to care of me. Um, and then he got off work as early as possible the next day just to make sure that I was okay. And um, he's just been keeping an eye on me because he saw my... Um, my my Instagram and my Facebook post. It was more so on Facebook where my friends reach out and send me pictures and videos of funny things to help me. And then he went online and he looked it up. <laughs> and so he came home as quickly as possible and then I told him I was okay. It just, it was, it was, I don't know. But, um, we're good now. And, uh, I'm gonna finish my my coffee, my happy place, <laughs> and um, I will see you guys sometime this week. Um, I don't know when I'm going to put this video in. This video is pretty long by itself, so I'm probably going to just make it a video all to its own, especially since it's a review video, and that's it. Alright guys, la ya!